Hi Felters and welcome. So as you would have seen in the first few scenes, I am doing my kits and just preparing everything and I thought I'd have a little chat with you whilst I'm doing this. So it's the first of the month and um, yeah, I'm just preparing everything for the kits and weighing everything out and I've got all the ribbons. It takes a while but do you know what, it is quite therapeutic actually. Um, like I've got all the wool down here. Oh, to roll it out look at the size of that <laughs> it's massive um and then i know how many rolls of this should be about the right amount one two three four five six oh, there we go and then we just weigh it yep 44 slightly over but that's fine i'd rather people have more wool than less in my kits i think i've done too much wool in these kits but anyway I'm really enjoying it it's something different and you know I've been watching um a lady who does studio vlogs called Paloma the Peach and I think she's got like nearly three I don't know she's got 300,000 subscribers and she's she's really lovely and it's really interesting to see because I watch a lot of studio vlogs just to her to see sort of um she does lots of different mediums you don't have to do just one thing and it's like just having a different way of earning money a different venue a different not venue a different side of your business and it is it's really quite it's quite fun to do and to put everything together and then i've got my cards coming which um i don't think i showed you last month i've got one of them i'll show you in a sec and there's another four designs coming one two three whoops four five six um but yeah it was really interesting so i was watching 43 grams that's great i'm supposed to do 40 so they are really slightly over uh, so I was watching Paloma the Peach and she's just taken up needle felting a couple of months ago and it was really funny because she bought a kit and it it was sort of tops um, well which most of them are and it was funny she was doing really well but I could hear one of my videos I could hear my voice in the background so she was watching one of my videos I just can't believe it I was so like amazed so chuffed but yeah she's really lovely so I recommend watching her so there we go one so I'm just going to keep making these up. I'll show you those cards. Well, here's the first card design. Um, the others are arriving in the next few days. But it's one of my Highland cows with a special sort of design on it. And it's got my name on the back. Hazel the Highland cow. Oh, goodness. I've just realised I've done something wrong with some of my other cards. Oh, I'm going to have to change that. But there we go. So that's one of my cards. There you go. There's all the wools ready. This is just for 10 kits. Can you imagine if you had to do a lot more kits than that. So that's all done. Just gonna print out all the instructions. That's my sample box over there. So all this work for these two. So I managed to fix the problem, which I um, realised as I was showing you. So I put Hazel the Highland Cow on the back of all these cards. And so of all the new cards I ordered, there are four different designs. They all have Hazel the Highland Cow on the back. So that was silly. And I managed to contact the printing company um, and they've changed it. They, they hadn't printed them yet because I only ordered them yesterday. So I was really lucky with that. Not a problem, really. I could have just left it as, as Hazel the Highland Cow, but it's just annoying and then so i've been printing out the instructions for all the kits i'll show you i've popped them all up there for now so i've made up 10 um and i am just still waiting for the stickers on the front but the my printer as i thought printing out the brochure just used up so much ink it was ridiculous because honestly my printer sounds like it's breaking when it's printing it's like getting slower and slower so, and I've managed to rearrange the PDF because the PDF on Etsy I can't just print that out for the kit it's all slightly different so I've rearranged it and I've gone to a printing company and I've got it down to about one pound 23 for 18 page document um, 
it's not leaflet but pages and it's a5 as well which is going to be really sweet really cute that's what i um wanted so i'm really pleased with that but i feel this is like here are all my mistakes don't make them <laughs> kind of video but anyway that is that for now i will show you the stickers when they arrive um, and the kits when they're done and then i can at least get some of them on etsy and down into the shop yeah also i was just going to show you i went to home bargains and uh, the range so this was the range so it's not real wood but it's um, a really good little stand thing it was honestly about three or four well I think it was about three or four pounds I'll double check I also got these uh, flowers these are all going to be props for taking photos because how cute would they be um, they're really nice nice colours I also bought this rug this was from Home Bargains it was about ten pounds just to use as a backdrop as an alternative backdrop to my wooden cardboard wooden floor thing that I've got and then I also got this just because I love it it was 15 pounds um but I thought wouldn't that be cute if I could do some pictures of some items on that it'd be really unusual wouldn't it but it's a really nice little footstool anyway so I've got it in my office oops it's uh dropping wool so yeah so that was really good so I was really pleased with that I think this um wooden thing I'll double check the price on it but it's um really nice it's got really nice detail on it and you know it's got lovely bits so it looks real let me check I'll put the price up on the screen Hi everyone so covid has hit our household we've all got it um everything is on pause and hopefully i will see you in a couple of days when i'm feeling a bit better it's the 8th and I'm about day six or seven of Covid fed up with it I did a video for my patrons on my kit I got so bored but it's, you feel good for a bit and then you feel really bad all of a sudden so but anyway so my my kits were all ready anyway beforehand I just had to do all the photographing and stuff like that um, and I'm really 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 pleased with them and I put a video out for my patrons and I talked about pricing how much everything costs because it costs me 13 pounds to do the whole kit and then postage is three pounds 35 uk and then cost um, of selling on etsy is another two to three pounds so they have to be at a reasonable price and uh, the profit i'm making is quite low it's between seven and eight pounds on a kit and i say profit it's not really profit it's the hours that it takes me <laughs> that's my labor pay and uh, for putting the whole kit together because it takes it does take quite a while especially the first lot of kits whilst you're trying to work everything out and then to take stuff down to the post office so my patrons um are really good they sort of had a word with me and they said look the kit is a fantastic kit it's two cows it's full of wool um it's very professional you could definitely charge a little bit more so um i'll put it out at a lower price to begin with but i can't put it out till i'm clear of covid um, I always worry about touching surfaces and stuff like that. Um, it's okay on items that you make because it doesn't last that long on 
um, like clothing and stuff like that but hard surfaces it does but so I'm really pleased but I can't put the kits out yet which is really annoying because they're all ready <laughs> anyway and there's people that actually want to buy them as well which is amazing and the other thing I'm waiting for are my cards the rest of my cards but in the meantime just to show you um, these are little easels for I've got a craft fair coming up on the third and I thought I could put my little cards on easels so I'll have them selling individually and selling in packs of five probably and I'll work out the price but I really like these little easels that you could just put on your table and it's good because you could sort of put them anywhere so that's um, handy uh, as long as you don't have a venue that's windy it always blows over so at the moment I am making um, I have got I have bagged up all of my curly wool into that bag there and I'm going to make lots of sheep so I'm making um, a sheep with this Scotland fleece so I'm going to get on with that whilst I'm still ill um, and that's pretty much all I can do for now is just sort of felt some items and wait till I test negative to send the kits out which I'm really excited about and you're going to follow me with that so right let's uh, do another sheep <laughs> go this one's all done and um yeah I'm pleased in the end the locks were quite short it was they were really really tricky and then the who's I didn't decide on what to do I sort of procrastinated <laughs> but don't ever leave the hooves till the end like I did it's just you shouldn't do that they should be done um before you put the head on before you put the coat on but yeah done and yeah I'm quite pleased quite pleased in the end it's quite a nice coat so that's Scotland Scotland fleece but yeah it was a little bit a lot of the pieces were quite short but anyway so that one's done hi so welcome back got through covid that's all done so many people I know have had it so um yeah it seems to be everywhere at the moment in this country um so tested negative yesterday and I put my kits on and I sold eight kits and so thank you so much if it, it was you a couple of my patrons bought some uh, a couple of people in America bought some and Germany so I can't believe that people would be prepared to pay 18 pounds postage for something to be sent over to America but thank you so much um unfortunately my car is in the garage it's been in there for about two or three days they're trying to get some parts for the brakes um it's not really a, a new car it's fairly old so I know things sort of start to go wrong with it but my son is going to have it when he because he's doing his driving lessons now so it's worth keeping it and keeping it in good condition and um, so I don't have a car, so I'm going to have to walk to the post office, which is not too bad. It's about a mile away. It's all downhill, which is fine, but uphill. Once we get rid of the parcels, it'll be better, I suppose. But uphill <laughs> all the way back and it's going to be 30 degrees to get today. I've walked the dogs really early, so they're done. Um, so, yeah, my daughter's coming with me, which is really sweet of her. So we're going to take those down in a minute and I'll take you down with us. But, um, yeah, I had a couple of bad things happen. So I had a... a uh, what's called a fixed penalty notice for driving in a bus lane in Huddersfield when I went to pick up my son and his friend from the train station so that always is like oh, really did I I think I just followed another car into this lane and I was thinking are we allowed in here but so fixed penalty notice I've paid that um, and then my car like I said is going to cost me quite a bit and then Covid so I said that's the three things that have happened <laughs> so and launching my kits and having sort of eight of them sell has been really, really good. Plus the other thing I'll show you as well. So the shop that I've got some items in, it's called Unity or Unity Yard. And um, they called me and said they'd sold a couple of my items. Could I bring some more down? So I've got a couple, four more pieces to take down. And I'm going to take down two kits as well. So here we are ready to pack the last three. And 
I've been busy <laughs> trying to get ready for the next batch of 10, which I didn't think I'd need quite so soon. But um, I've got enough wool, I think, and everything I need for the next 10 kits. So I'll be making those up. And I've started making quite a large hair. It's just something I wanted to do. So we'll see how that goes. Make that nine orders. I got another one whilst I was talking to you. So that's fantastic. So I'm packaging, packaging up um, all of them and we'll get them down the post office. So I am just making this hair. It's quite big, really. It's the same old problem. I should have done it really quite big. So I'm just um, smoothing over and I thought I'd just update you. So I went down to uh, Unity and... Oh, I have to get a final figure, actually. So I went down to Unity and I have sold over £165 worth of product down there. So Unity is that shop I've got some items in. So 25% commission of that goes to her. So I made £123 something. And it's been a little over two weeks. It's probably been about two and a half weeks. So actually, it's really good. You know, that's not bad at all. And if you think, I don't really have to do anything apart from take it down there. Whereas if something sells on Etsy, I have to package it and take it to the post office. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. So I took some more items down there. I took two of my kits down as well. And in all, I think I've sold about 12 or 13 kits. And they've been on now since Wednesday and it's Saturday. Um, so again, you know, I'm really, really pleased, really over the moon. But the other thing is it also shows you when you go on to your shop on Etsy, it shows you how many people have put it in their basket. Um, and that sort of indicates that something's quite popular. If people have got it in their basket, they're sort of waiting to buy it or waiting till they get paid. Or, you know, they might be, some people put it in their basket to wait to see if they get a 10% discount. But it's, um, my kit is in 20 people's baskets and there's only five left. Um, I've got to order some more wool and make some more up, but I'm not going to rush into it. I really, what I really want is feedback from the ones that have gone out. And then I've come into a little bit of a problem with my boxes. Um, they're having, a, they've got a little tear mark on the edge. Let me get you one. So um, just here, do you see they're just, they've, they've just perforated. Only one or two. I think maybe I've folded the boxes the wrong way, sort of inside out way. I don't know. It doesn't sort of say which way around they go. And the first lot were absolutely fine. But, you know, it's not that bad. I'm not going to, you know, not use them. So, um, yeah, so that's that. So that's the update. And I'm just going to sort of crack on with this hair. And I just sort of want to practice hairs. So, and my um, craft fair is under four weeks away now. So I'm going to need to be doing some more items for that. But fortunately, because I've got the kits and my cards, these kits and my cards are arriving, that will help fill up my table a little bit. So I'm pleased with that so far. Hi, so it's the 16th. God, what day is it? It's a Tuesday. Um, my cards arrived, so I'm really, really happy with them. I'll show you them. So that's the first one. That's the second one, which is my Herdwick. That's one of my sitting Highland cows. This is the two uh, sleeping Highland cows. And then this is a valet sheep head, which that's the only one that I think, like my husband went, what's that? Um, so it's a little bit, maybe it's too close up. But... They come in a set of five, so I've done them all up in little ribbons and I've popped them on Etsy and um, I've sold my first one, so I've got to go to the post office, so that's from one of my patrons. That's, I'm just really, um, really pleased with them actually. They're really thick, really good quality. Um, it's like a matte finish, so yeah, um, I'm just looking forward to having them on my table as well. I don't think I'm going to sell loads on Etsy because the card market's huge on there. But like I said, when I go to a craft fair um, and I'm going to put them on my website, well, no, I'm going to advertise them on my website and send people to Etsy still. But yes, I'm really, really pleased with them. Um, 
So I'm still working on the hair, which it just looks a little bit funny. Obviously, they all look a bit funny. I haven't really done much work on that because I was doing the cards yesterday and I've got my first podcast up and that was a battle. Honestly, <laughs> it's all technology. Uh, yeah, I've done it. So I've done the first one. It's on Spotify. I'm going to just add it to Google Play and Apple today. Apple was proving difficult yesterday about verifying my account. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still a bit chesty from COVID, but um, it's up there. So, yeah, I, I can't believe it. It's called The Needle Felting Addict. And by the time you see this, 16th, hopefully I'll have a couple more up. Um, but actually, it's really, it's really different. It's quite exciting and I quite enjoy it because... Number one, I definitely don't need to put on any makeup, so I can record it at any point during the day. You know, after I've walked the dogs when I'm all sweaty. If I'm, the only thing is you have to be, your voice has to be bright and full of energy. You can't, I don't think, record on a day where you're like, mm. you have to be injecting the energy into it. Otherwise, people are going to get bored. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't even know how it works with adverts and making money. I just do know that there aren't any good regular podcasts out there for needle felters and I am fairly good at waffling on and talking so I'm going to try and fill that gap. So that's it. Today, this morning, I'm doing paperwork, um, setting up my Zoom dates and sending that all out and scheduling all the releases for it and setting up. We've got a challenge coming up in my Patreon. We are going to make a bird because i am rubbish at birds any bird that you've never made before and i do prizes and it's all optional you know people don't have to do it but a lot of people do take part so it's really good so i'm going to set the challenges do that and then i'm just going to <coughs> excuse me work on the podcast again just to show you um i'm working on this hair and um his chest area it's it's a you know the what the problem is and you keep coming back to it and you keep going it's too big it's too big and i felted it down so basically i couldn't felt it down anymore so i've just chopped it all through you can see all the core wool on the inside so i've literally got my scissors and chopped a load of it off um but i'm just building up so he's got a bit of a tummy because if you see he was looking a little bit thin so just building up either side and yeah so just getting there with him i'll show you a little bit more as i go along I 
Hi, it's the 24th. Um, so we went away for the weekend, which you would have seen, and we had a lovely time. We were so lucky with the weather because it's raining now. <laughs> it's been raining since we got back. So hopefully that's great for the country. We all need the rain. Um, so I kind of got back and I felt really out of it and really jaded and I didn't felt for the first day. It was still quite warm, but so I've started again on Mr. Rabbit. So I've done one side of him and still got the other side. I'm getting there with the legs and everything. It just takes so long. I just um, stabbed and put an ear up there so you could see what he's going to look like. He'll look so much better with his ears on. Um, but so I've attached the fur sort of using a planting method where you plant it and then you cut it or trim it. Really, I probably should have done a pelt where you just do it flat and then lay the whole thing on. And so I'm practicing for when I do an online course for a rabbit or a hare. <clears throat> I've got the snow hare as well, so I'm trying to decide what to do. But I probably I wouldn't do this method because it just takes so long for people. Far too long. My husband and daughter are painting the hallway outside. So <laughs> it's all go, go, go here. And we've got the in-laws coming at the weekend as well. Um, so I started a podcast and I just thought I'd just put it up there. Uh, some of my patrons have listened to it. So thank you so much. And now I've done one, I've got to sort of try and keep up with it. But also I'm struggling to keep up with my videos on YouTube. Um, and I've got to do another. I've just sold out of my kits. So 20 have sold now. So that's really good. But I've got to make the next lot up. And I literally have two days to do stuff before the in-laws are here and then I'm sort of off again for the next three days but not enough time I know that's no excuse everyone says that I bought these super cute Highland cow earrings on Etsy I thought I might as well just express my love for the old Highland cows <laughs> I think they're really sweet here I am on operation the next 10 kits um, this table is much easier so I've bought that in so I can do all the weighing and get it all ready. <laughs> Looking like a mess everywhere. I've got all the other bits and bobs. But yeah, just getting the next 10 kits made up. So this is all the wool done. Finally, didn't take too long. This is me. <laughs> they get absolutely covered. So it's good to do it all in one go. There we go. So the kits are done and are up there already and I'm pleased to have them back on Etsy. And it's interesting, really. I've had two people contact me and say, could they have two of the brown cows? And then another person contact me and say, could they have two of the coloured cows? The colourful ice and fire colour. So I can do it. Right. So they're all ready. So that's nice. I'm going to carry on with this hair. And so it's the end of the month. It's the 29th. And um so it's not quite the end of the month, but anyway, I'm having my phone upgraded tomorrow. And as those of you that know me, everything is done on my phone for this channel. So <clears throat> having it upgraded, I'm really worried if they lose any footage as they transfer it across. So I shall get this up tomorrow, I think, or maybe today. I'm not sure. It's a little bit early. It's also quite handy because I haven't had a video on my channel for a while because it's kind of like holiday season and I've just struggled with all the family commitments um the hair he is at that stage i haven't got him any further i'm sorry he's not finished for the end of the video but you'll see him next month he needs whiskers and a couple more bits and bobs i thought i'd show you these i ordered these from border felts on etsy she does these most beautiful little they're like little pots <clears throat> and you needle felt the top and the one of the tops is um that's quite a 3d sort of surface so it's really sweet they're for my Patreons for the challenge we're doing this month. I've got three of those, but I do think they're lovely. Border felt she is on Etsy. Um, so that's it. But we have got, oh, and Unity sent me a message. So that's the shop where I have my um, felts in and they need more stuff. So that's the second time in this month. I don't know how much they've sold. I shall have a look. But um, that's really good, but also really difficult because I've got craft fair in 11, 12 days so as usual can't felt things fast enough can we that's the problem with this <laughs> with with trying to you know earn some money from it so that's why I diversify as much as I can but um thank you for watching next month we have the craft fair I would like to design my second kit hopefully <clears throat> maybe record a hair 
um, coarse, but it's not going to be like that because that's too difficult, I think. It's just all sort of starting to go, go, go for the Christmas season. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this month. Um, sorry if it's been a bit sort of kit heavy talking about the kits all the time, but it, it's quite a lot sort of just getting used to them and working out how to do them. But thanks for watching and thanks for being here with me. And I hope you have a wonderful month and we'll see you next month. Take care, everybody. Bye. <clears throat> and I hope I pressed record.